And according to the CDC's COVID data tracker, over half of Americans may have avoided getting infected with the coronavirus. And scientists say those who haven't caught COVID may hold the key to defeating it. You may have noticed our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Dandy, joining us now. So Dr. Nandy is... Is there a possibility that people are naturally immune to this if they haven't got it yet? It absolutely, it really could be. And, and, and there's, there's some evidence that suggests that some people may actually have what's called super immunity, meaning their bodies appear to be naturally resistant to the virus and the immunity isn't traced to vaccination. Now, this type of natural immunity is considered rare, but it's important that scientists study these cases. Why? Because the answers could shed light on how to beat this really contagious virus. And, and here's a good example. Researchers in the United Kingdom followed a group of healthcare workers early in the pandemic. Some of those workers got rid of the virus from their systems very fairly quickly, even before their bodies made antibodies to fight off the virus. Super interesting to me. Scientists found that exposure to previous seasonal cold viruses had played a key role, most likely because T cells provided cross protection. T cells are produced by our immune system and our bodies make them to help stop the spread of infection. And while T cells may not have recognized the new coronavirus SARS-CoV-2, the cells could have actually recognized genetic parts of previous seasonal coronaviruses that are also contained in the new virus behind the pandemic. So could that knowledge from those studies turn into treatments or vaccines? So as absolutely, you know, if, if cells can detect different parts of the coronavirus and fight it off, then scientists could study how this happens and potentially improve our vaccines by targeting the same parts of the virus that the T cells are targeting. Now, right now, our T cells that are produced by COVID vaccines or because of a COVID infection actually target the, tar the virus's spike protein, which we know changes, mutates, and causes new variants to pop up. So if our vaccines could instead attack the virus's internal machinery and not the spike protein, then they could become more efficient at, at preventing infection, hopefully prevent infection from all future coronaviruses as well. So there are companies, Brian, working on a new single shot that could hopefully offer this broader protection. In the meantime, again, broken record, it's important for folks to get vaccinated and boosted and consider a second booster if you're 50 and older. And that's how we're getting past this. Because as you said, it's very rare, this potential super immunity. So don't everybody that hasn't gotten the virus yet think that you are superhuman all of a sudden. That's a great point. A lot of people say, you know, if I, if I do all these things, I'll be superhuman. It's very rare. So get, get vaccinated, get boosted. All right, Dr. Nandy, as always, so let's have a good grateful. Weekend. Thank you. And don't forget to watch an all new episode of the Dr. Nandy Show this weekend. This week... The doc is discussing cancer treatments. That's this Saturday at 1 p.m. right here on 7.